Flesh and Blood box sales crash 44% in April over what they were in March. Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade with the monthly update to Flesh and Blood box sales on TCG Player, just taking data you can steal off their site. I updated with April 2022, now that April is over, put it into the charts that I had made previously, and man, overall down 44% in number of boxes. And each individual product was down, was down, was down. Only Monarch went up, which is really a testament to what I've been saying, that the market has shrugged off the Monarch first edition box numbers. It's absolutely said they're fine, does not matter. And because the numbers were okay, a bunch of people jumped in. 26% increase in Monarch first edition box sales in April over March. Um, Everfest was down to only 233 boxes, a far cry from the 3,800 the, the month that it came out, which was February, but that's to be expected. People get their fill of the set when it's first available, as long as the availability is good, and then they move on to other things. They play with the cards they have. They get what they wanted. So really interesting numbers. Uh, it's also pretty interesting that, that after the Everfest first edition, you know, the next best selling thing was Welcome to Wraith Unlimited. Still holding strong, even though it was way down, Crucible of War down a whole 50%. So here's the plots of box sales. Just like I explained last month, the left and the right plot are all the same data. It's just the vertical scale is different so that that giant wave of Everfest first edition release date happening in February of 2022 does not overwhelm. And so that you can actually see the detail of all these individual lines here on the right-hand plot. Uh, dotted lines are the unlimited ones, except for Welcome to Wraith, Arcane Rising, and Crew, which I only follow unlimited because the first edition boxes are those are too expensive and sales are too rare to matter. Then going on to the actual dollars. So these are total amounts of money spent, and this is month-over-month -month revenue. So how did that amount of money per set change per month? Because not only do the number of boxes sold change, but the cost per box changes also. We'll see if this gets more interesting going forward. 62% drop in Everfest sales as the number of boxes dropped a lot. It had a high start to drop from, and the price kept kind of creeping down a little bit. That's this kind of orangish line here. Otherwise, you see that Arcane Rising and Crucible crept up just a tiny bit over the course of the month. Uh, paradoxically, I sure don't understand it. Welcome to Wraith found room to fall. Uh, I'm going to be not altogether unsurprised when one day Welcome to Wraith Unlimited boxes just suddenly dry up. Again, they've been out of print since December, I believe. So one day they'll dry up. I think prices on those are going to surprise us and all of a sudden jump. As I've always said, there's less Crucible of War Unlimited in the world than we think. And uh, one day... That'll catch up too. Maybe a little bit of increase this month was a good sign. Otherwise, everything was pretty stable. You know, people have made a big deal this month about uh, Channel Fireball dumping product on the market on their distributor side. Uh, a lot of people just making a lot of noise about James betrayed the customers and they messed up and everyone will walk away. And yeah, I have no doubt there are lots of card stores who... You know, they're poorly capitalized. They don't have a lot of money to play around with. And so when they see what happened with uh, Everfest and with Monarch and, and maybe Tales of Aria to a lesser extent, yeah, um, they got burned and they're going to walk away for a little while. On the other hand, you know, the first history pack is going to be coming out soon. And I think it'll be fine. It'll be a home run. It'll be really great for getting new people into the game. You take a curated set of the best cards from the first three expansions of, of flesh and blood you put them together in white border it's going to be really good for the game going forward a uh, little later this month you're going to get the first classic battle set i will not be following that on this spreadsheet the way i will the history packs but it's coming out and then late june uprising notice they don't say anything about first edition here hopefully legend story studios has dumped the first edition and unlimited differential so we don't deal with that in the future and at the same time some more blitz decks so i'll keep doing this every month we'll see if we can find any more interesting data if you have any suggestions other sources other metrics i may be able to calculate with the data that we have here let me know otherwise like comment share and subscribe and join me on final trade thanks a lot